Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to trigger Stripe subscription cancellation via email. So when a person wants to cancel their Stripe subscription, they will send an email with the subscription ID to raise the cancellation request. So for all of this process, we are going to create an automation with the help of Fably Connect, where we will integrate email parser and Stripe and our trigger will be to capture email using email parser by Fably and our action will be to cancel subscription using Stripe. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn how a person can request cancellation for the Stripe subscription via email and that will be done automatically that when the email will be sent then the subscription re cancellation request will be generated automatically. So let us quickly sign in into our account. So that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli and we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now. Then we will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect where you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as Trigger Stripe Subscription Cancellation via Email. Click on Create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You will be able to see the two major modules of Pabli Connect on which these automation workflows work. And then I would like to remind you first that please make sure to open your Stripe account and also your Gmail so that you can integrate both of these that whenever a mail is received about the cancellation of subscription, so the request is generated in Pabli Connect and further the request is sent to our Stripe account. So trigger says when this happens an action says do this which means that trigger is going to be the first application where the event will take place manually or we are going to perform the event and then which will trigger the workflow making the action application perform the assigned action. So the trigger over here is going to be email parser. The reason being we are going to detect the email that will be received on our specific work email address. So this is the mail hook that we are going to use to integrate Pabli Connect's email parser and our Gmail over here. So let us learn how are we going to do that. Go back to your Gmail come over here settings on the top menu and click on see all settings reaching here click on forwarding and pop imap here you add a forwarding address that all the mails that are received over here in your inbox will be forwarded to one specific address which is this mail hook so copy this mail hook from here it starts waiting for a response so go back to your gmail and here add a forwarding address paste this mail hook right here click on next proceed with the process and then a sample mail will be sent to your Pabli Connect workflow over here, you will see. And when you receive it in the body text of that response, you will find a confirmation code that we will have to enter over here to verify the location perfectly. Is this the correct location where you want your mails to be forwarded? So here is the response it came just in front of you and find the body text. This is the body text over here and then scroll it down and find the confirmation code. Copy this one from here and paste it in your forwarding settings. Click on verify and then it is verified. Now you have selected forward a copy of incoming mail to this one. Okay. Now one thing that is most important over here is click on save changes so that the settings are saved. Now what happens is this is the sample response you received. Recapture email parser response and now it starts waiting for a sample response that you actually need for your Stripe subscription cancellation. So now we are going to draft a sample mail that will be sent to this specific email address of our Gmail but in turn it will be forwarded here as a response. So here I have already opened my composing of an email. I will enter the email address where I want to send the mail. The subject will be cancelled because we want to make sure that the email is filtered by this. If all the emails are going to be sent to Pabli Connect, then it will be a confusion which subscription needs to be cancelled. But we are giving a proper very specific subject over here that is cancel Stripe subscription. So that all the emails having this subject will go in the process of cancellation of subscription. And here I will provide my subscription ID over here. The subscription ID you have will you will be receiving that an email when you created the subscription for yourself. Now since this is done click on save and send and the message is sent. Let us go back and see the response and here we are still waiting for a response. Do not worry the response will be received soon and this is the sample response that we received earlier. So close this window and wait for the response for the email that we just sent and here is the response you have received. See. This is the one and when you come over here to your body text, you will find your subscription ID. So we are going to use the subscription ID to locate our subscription and then cancel it. But now we need to put a filter to our workflow so that only the cancellation subscription subjects 
email are sent over here for the process. So let us put a filter. This filter is a feature that is built inside Pabli and it will make sure that continue the workflow only if the given situation that we are going to provide over here is satisfied. So select from here our subject which is cancel stripe subscription should be equal to obviously cancel stripe subscription. Make sure the spelling is correct so the filter works perfectly forever. Click on save and send test request and then you will see the status says success and the condition is true. Which means the email that we received right now in our trigger response ha is having the subject cancel stripe subscription. Which means this subscription ID that we have received in the mail body will be used to cancel the subscription. Click on this plus button and choose your application as stripe over here. Then the action event will be to cancel a subscription. Now before connecting, make sure you go to your Stripe, come over here to billing and then here you will find subscriptions. See you have one subscription over here and once we are done with the workflow and we click on save and send test request in our last step, you will see that this subscription will disappear because it will be cancelled. So coming back over here, click on connect, add new connection and you will be needing a token to connect your Pabli Connect and Stripe so that you can transfer the information from the trigger application to your action application. So you have to go to developers and API keys. If you want to follow steps then okay fine. Otherwise you can simply click over here API keys it will straight away take you to your account. Here you will find developers and here you will have API keys. So you have to create a key over here. Give a key name. This is my key name. Click on create and then a token will be generated for you. Copy this token and paste it in your workflow. Click on save and your connection will be established. Now your Stripe is connected to Pabli Connect and now you have to provide a subscription ID over here. So click on this map, activate the map button, erase this one because you have to map it from the email response. Because every time a new email will be sent, there will be a new subscription ID and that has to be mapped over here. So from here, Search for your body of the text. This is your subscription. Okay, this is your subscription ID. Click on save and send test request and then you will see that you will be receiving a response which says that the cancellation has been requested. Okay, which means this work is done. A subscription cancellation is requested and it will be cancelled further with, by the Stripe representative. So this is the workflow. Let us go back to our Stripe and check that were we able to request the cancellation or not. Coming back to subscription, you see it was there and it disappeared just a while ago, which means that the subscription has been cancelled or it has been shifted to this list where you want to cancel the subscription. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.